Hey there, my name's Peter Coffin, and Tom McDonald seems to be making like 15-minute uh, YouTube rant videos as 8-minute rap songs. And I would know, I've been making 15-minute YouTube rant videos for a while now. Look at this guy. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. So I'm not sure who he's referring to about... Uh, people saying his political music is boring, but this is a pretty typical social media tactic. You see, many people, rather than have actual problems, make up a guy to rant against. Now this isn't the problem you might think it is, because usually there's a real guy who will say the things that your made-up guy says. Here's a tweet from June 4th, 2021, saying, With all this, this is gonna trigger the left comments about Tom McDonald's Snowflake song, I was real excited to watch it, honestly, but it's boring as hell. The right has no new material. This is the top tweet in the search Tom McDonald boring. It is from several years ago, and it has two likes. From January 28th of this year, a few months ago, Tom McDonald isn't offensive, he's just boring. He makes the same tacky, recycled, unoriginal songs with the same tired tropes again and again. The epitome of cringe. And then here's another one from 2021. Tom McDonald is boring. So I doubt that Tom McDonald is referring specifically to at Lair Arcade's zero engagement post from June 4th, 2021. But yeah, there's guys saying it. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. See, he's pretty clever right there. He covers the fact that he's quite rich and then humbles himself. He tells you he's rich, but then he says, oh, I'm also an alcoholic, which good on you for sobriety, sir. And I'm not saying that cynically at all, might I add. Um, that takes a lot, but... The way that you've used these two things is to make it so that people can't criticize you. Like if somebody criticizes him for being rich, he can say, well, I've seen the bottom of the barrel too. And if somebody criticizes his looks or his background, he can say, well, look, I became rich. Like firing those things off at the top, actually pretty clever in terms of deflecting criticism, but uh, I see what you're doing. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. So yeah, I could talk about how rich I am. Um, so I will. <laughs> I am the GOAT. I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. See, here's the thing. I don't want to criticize that message. Um, I don't want to tell you not to try uh, because you need to try. Like, that's what life is about. Of course, we should be reaching for success. But what's success in society today? Like, he's attempting to establish that he overcame lots of adversity to become very rich and that you can do the same. Is that true? Is that real? Is that something that is legitimate? Like, can you tell me more about that? I am the one, I'm gonna preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim, I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage, it's natural talent. Your ego is damaged, admit that you failed. Oh, so you have to just be naturally good at something. So, so it's not just believing, like you said a second ago. You can beat him if you just believe. This guy was apparently on the right track, baby. He was born this way, right? Like, that's what he's saying. And to be clear, I, I, I don't subscribe to that crap. You don't just have a talent. Talent is something that's developed over time. It's a combination of experience and sensibilities. And yes, sometimes a natural proclivity towards some type of action. But there's nothing about, like, rapping in our DNA. It's like people who say you have a natural talent at the guitar. Um, did you know that the guitar is something that people came up with? We precede the guitar. Our brains aren't uniquely evolved to interface with a guitar. Music is something we came up with. Uh, it's great. I love it. I'm not going to shit on Tom's song, but, like, it's not terrible. It's not great. Certainly not the kind of rap I listen to. Way back in my day, our raps were about getting jiggy in Miami and shit. I remember back when I was the only 
political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. All right. That's, uh, that's a big no. You did not create the genre of political rapping. I wouldn't even necessarily call it a genre. It's just the topic that some people rap about. Do you remember uh, a, a band called Public Enemy? Extremely political rappers. I don't think Tom McDonald beat Run the Jewels to the market. Or like Boots Riley or his band The Coup or Rage Against the Machine. Now, I will say pretty much all those rappers can be categorized as left wing. And to my understanding, Tom McDonald is right wing. But I really do need to say this. Uh, this isn't political rap. We're a minute into an eight minute song and he has labeled himself as political, but he has not said anything political. This is not YouTube. This is upper echelon. It, it is YouTube. You uploaded this to YouTube. You are on the trending page of YouTube, sir. <laughs> See that right there? You're at the literal top of the trending page on YouTube. This is how I heard of your song. Like, this is YouTube. The internet in love with beef, they want rappers at war. But I don't care who's coming at me, I swore that I wouldn't do disses no more. The last time I battled the man that I trampled, lost his career and then had a divorce. That wasn't fair. Homie got torched. I, I don't do rap battles anymore, because I'm so good I ruin lives when I do that. <laughs> like, Tom, that's really funny. You should make that into its own song. Like, make a three, four minute song about that specifically. Like, we've roved through about four or five different topics already, none of which have been political, and we've finally gotten to something that's, like, entertaining. That's great, man. I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich, and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess, I can show you what I move like. So, we're back to humble bragging. He came from nothing, and now he's something. Uh, it's really unfortunate. I, I would do a lot more dwelling on the fact that you destroy lives when you when you rap battle and that's why you don't rap battle anymore like that's such a funny concept tommy boy come on the gold is there i'll say i relate to that cable management though let me take you back into my head tell you about the movie i live for alcoholic nothing in my wallet every doctor said that i was depressed should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth i was sleeping on my best friend couch always dreaming of a west end house we was living in a basement sweet east side brain we get out i i want to return to what i said at the very beginning this is literally just a guy vlogging to a beat he's literally out riding his bike with a gopro talking about his life now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old Tom. That was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. I used to be poor, and man, I sucked. Like, usually when people are giving their self-help spiel, which he is, uh, they do go through this kind of, like, man, at one point in my life, I was this, and it was, it was not a good scene. But... I knew I had to make a change, and I did. And after I made that change, things got so much better for me. But he's framing it a little different here. He's like, man, before I got my shit together, I was a wreck, and fuck people who are a wreck. Man, that shit is nasty. You can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a... I'm the best thing going right now, they can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave, I'll be great. Wait, before today and I'll be great till I decide to walk away. Okay, so him him screaming downward at the top of a mountain, that's the funniest shit. I said that the funniest shit was him saying he can't rat battle anymore because it ruins too many people's lives. But him him on top of a mountain, I think, I think is narrowly edging past it. <laughs> And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks Everybody who been hating on me copies every little thing I'm doing I mean they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music 
this is pretty impressively narcissistic here. Like, our man thinks that he single-handedly created independent music in the 2020s. Like, that's crazy self-centered. It's self-centered enough to sound leftist, in fact. <laughs> like, you ever encountered a leftist who does, like, some kind of indie art thing? They always have, like, a chip on their shoulder about how, oh, the mainstream's terrible, and my thing is so much better, and usually it's the most unbearable thing you've ever seen or heard. This is like if that guy made it big. I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just canceled the digital charts instead. Like you're claiming that they got rid of the digital charts because of you. It's not because of streaming or anything and how completely different the industry is now than it was 10 years ago. Uh, no, it can't possibly be that. Also, like... You calling yourself a political rapper still? And the thing is, you can make the case that talking about business is political, but you're making business about you, so it's not. Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? <laughs> what? Weren't the charts, like, a big problem a second ago? I mean, he's not wrong. He's number one on YouTube trending. A, a month or two ago, he was number one with a Ben Shapiro feature, which, by the way, still boggles my mind that Ben Shapiro did not rap as fast as he talks. That seems like a missed opportunity on a massive level. But he's not wrong. He's a very big rapper. Like, obviously, it's hyperbole. He's depicting himself as bigger than buildings, but... <laughs> But he's not wrong, he is a big rapper, and I'm not gonna shit on him for being successful. The angry that I love America, guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. This guy's from Canada, what? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that I was not prepared for. <laughs> I was about to break with, they hate me because I love America, but apparently the reason they hate him because he loves America is because he's from Canada. <laughs> What the fuck? What? I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am not faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. No, I'm the only political rapper out there. I've got the biggest share. I'm up in the air. I'm as big as a building and you can't stop me. Okay, so he said he could talk about how he's very rich, but he's not going to. And then he did for like four minutes. He also said he could rat battle people and it would ruin their lives is he gonna do it <laughs> they want photos when they see me out in public then they trash me in the comments what a bummer i sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach all i get is people praying that i'll plummet all you get is people praying that you will plummet you've literally spent five minutes and seven seconds telling us how fucking rich you are and successful you are you get so much fucking success sir like you don't only get people saying crap like that clearly there are supporters i don't know that kind of shit it annoys me representing like the only thing you get is is hate oh my god it's just hate no sir you could have retired three years ago according to your lyrics you clearly get something that isn't hate out of this but this ain't always what my life was like Honestly, it still give me chills Way before all of my viral songs Before I was living in Beverly Hills Way before I went and sobered up Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills Way back when I should have been locked up Overdosed or getting killed My sister called me from the hospital Said her job's killing her and that was a fact She working overtime often, out of options Having panic attacks Okay, we're finally gonna get real We're gonna talk about something important It seems like he's building up to like a real like emotional zenith here Like I, I can sense it didn't let her finish talking, told her walk in and to quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And daddy always told me I was special and one day I would conquer the music business. And I guess he was right, because look at my life. I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas and mama worked harder than any woman on earth. Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. If I'm completely honest, that's awesome. You never see one of these people do something like that. In a, in a song that is is obviously very popular. I, I mean, don't say the only thing I get is hate and then transition to this, but like props to you for doing this. But he is also a political rapper and an influencer. So the reason he's saying this stuff is to promote whatever agenda he intends to promote with this song. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is 
long nights. This is all me. This is what I do. This is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I do agree. It's not white privilege. This guy didn't get where he got on white privilege. Remember how earlier I was talking about how all those rappers are, uh, you know, categorizable as left wing. This guy, he is filling a highly specific niche an outwardly right wing rapper. Like he's basically like a gay conservative 15 years ago. That's what he's taking advantage of. And it's working. Oh, a gay conservative. What? You know, maybe these gays are okay. Oh, oh my God. This rapper is talking about like all of the ideals I believe in. You know, maybe this rap music isn't so bad after all. I'm in God mode, they in beast mode, we are not the same, we ain't equals, and I pray to God that you can deep throat, got 11 inches for you weak hoes. Like, I'm just gonna say this, um, it should not have taken 7 minutes and 21 seconds for you to say the words God mode, Tom. This is going on too long, you are dilly-dallying, you are faffing around and not getting to the point. What is the point? <laughs> Y'all cannot critique me, y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me, I can't be killed. This motherfucker actually dressed up like that, pointed his face at the camera and said, y'all cannot critique me. <laughs> like people probably think of Duncan on this guy because he's right wing, but that's, that's not it at all. I actually don't mind a lot of what he's saying. It's honestly kind of milk toast, harmless shit. And I agree that we should actually try to do more. I believe in striving for success in your field, in developing your skills and making yourself into something. I think that that's great, but there is a highly specific reason this guy was able to make it from nothing um, while a lot of people can't. It's because there's like basically nobody else doing this. Kid Rock is the closest thing that there is to Tom McDonald and Kid Rock is nothing like Tom McDonald. Hey, you social media trolls, y'all can suck on these, these, these nuts. And like, seriously, how can you argue with that? Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking, though. And their song's all on YouTube. Well, my song's on the radio. You are trending at number one on YouTube. Like, that is how people are hearing about you. What radio are you talking about? Like, are there people actually listening to this man on the radio? I sincerely doubt that. And why are you angry at YouTube? Like, you do YouTube. This is YouTube. You are at number one trending on YouTube. What is this? Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'm gonna keep going till I'm in the coffin. He would keep going until he's in a coffin? Well, sir, you're going to have to do more than that to get in my pants. Remember I said he's like a gay Republican 15 years ago? Maybe he's like a gay Republican now. Yes, the joke is that my name is Peter Coffin and he's gonna keep going until he's in one. But do to the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hang over gang. <laughs> so I haven't really paid a lot of attention to Tom McDonald's rise. I generally see people criticize him because he's got bad right wing opinions and whatever. I've also seen a lot of people accuse him of clout chasing, but I don't honestly understand how that is an insult at this point. If you look at social media or regular media, or anything uh, that is capitalist, if you aren't playing around in the finance sphere, then that's what you're doing. Like, that's blatantly the goal in an economy that has transitioned away from physical good production and into service. What I'm more annoyed with is actually something he touched on throughout the whole thing. You see, this man is in God mode. And there's a lot of points in this song in which he tells you that it is because of his natural talent. But there's also a lot of points in this song where he portrays himself as somebody who worked from the absolute bottom to get there. And like the obvious self-help huckster he is, he tells you that you too could do exactly the same thing. But isn't there no one else like you and also everyone who's trying to do what you're doing is bad? You see, there's an interesting little dichotomy there to observe. This is kind of the traditional, like, capitalist meritocracy ideology. It's the idea that you are supposed to think that you can rise to the top. However, 
Um, there needs to be a justification in place for why it doesn't happen when you don't. It's that you didn't have enough natural talent. Like, this might sound like a little bit of a stretch, but if you follow that logic, you'll find that the underlying belief is that the genetically superior people uh, belong at the top and eventually get there. Sure, a superior person may be accidentally born to the wrong station, but we have a system that allows for that mistake to be corrected. Why? It's Plato's justice and the Philosopher King bullshit. Back again. You know, it's so weird how it somehow ends up at the center of both a popular right-wing thing and a popular left-wing thing. Like, I've been telling a lot of people that left versus right is a bullshit dichotomy. That's kind of uh, one of the overarching themes of what I'm going after in terms of content. It's the subject of my next documentary. It's not the correct thing to be judging society's various conflicts on. The correct dichotomy is rulers and ruled. And this type of a song is exactly the kind of ideology that rulers need in a society that's set up allegedly democratically. The ideology that tells you you can get to the top if you just believe and try hard enough, and the justification for why you don't. I don't know if that was Tom's intention, but regardless of his intention, so much capitalist media ends up with some form of that. Interesting, huh? I think that's all I've got for you, uh, but what do you have for me? Head down into the comment section. I'm interested in what you think. Also, don't forget to lick those buttons underneath. Like, give them a nice big old slurp and become a subscriber. Finally, don't forget to money me at patreon.com slash Um, I hope you have a nice day.